what is up you guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see about getting this guy set up so I finally decided on an area that I want to put this in. I have this little nook in my kitchen. It's where I keep my Lomi. Um, so I thought that it would be the perfect place to put here. And plus, I need to be able to put a reservoir of water below it so it can siphon into this guy. I have been studying <laughs> this manual, trying to get comfortable, trying to wrap my head around all of it all of the ideas of hydroponics and I feel like this system is set up for beginners is to help you be a little bit more hands-off but still receive the benefits of hydroponics um so I did download the app and I will show you all of that like once we actually get this set up and show you everything that entails but for now let's go on ahead and get this thing started um I went on ahead and kind of got prepared Mommy. And so in the, if you've seen the unboxing, then you've seen everything that comes into it. If you want to see all the details, go back to that video. Um, but I went on ahead and added the water into the nutrients A and B, and I've been allowing for it to dissolve. So I can just shake them up, shake them up. And then it goes inside this guy here i'll zoom you in so in this little guy here is where the nutrients go so we will start by dropping them down in there so in the instructions it says pour the dissolved liquid nutrients in equal proportions into the food plant the plant food storage box separately so it says equal, in equal proportions. So I don't know if that means, okay, I see. For example, pour 50 ml and 50 ml separately. I don't know, how am I supposed to measure that? That's what I'm confused by because this is not a clear bottle. I kind of wish that it was a clear bottle that way I can like pour to a certain point. You know what I mean? But, hmm. Mommy, you got that. All right, to help me out, I grab a measuring spoon here. And I'm going to do one third. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Of a cup of that. And then one third. I'll put in B first. It's fine. Whatever. Thank you. You did such a good job shaking. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so now I need to attach the water tube here. <laughs> I honestly feel like I should have done this first. In the instructions, it doesn't say which end. There is this metal tip. I'm assuming that's to touch, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's to touch the water. Mommy. To be a Mommy. detector Mommy. of sorts. Mommy. Solano. Then I have this little hole back here because this is kind of like a desk. So I'm just feed that down. That is giving what it needs to give. All right, and down here I just have a jug of water 
And at first I thought about maybe just drilling a hole and I still went um, into the cap of this just so it's protected. But for now, I'm just going to set that in there and scooch it all the way back into the corner. That way it doesn't get knocked around by my dog. All right, so now I just need to hold this button for three seconds to begin to fill the water tank. On the tank. Oh. So as the water is filling up, we can go on ahead and set up the growing baskets, which it comes with these little guys and the sponges. So I am going to do that and then we will talk variety. <laughs> Okay, we are back and it is several hours later. Um, I kind of got caught up just trying to keep my daughter busy. My camera died, but like I said, we back. So let's go over the varieties that I plan to grow in this baby. I really stuck to mostly like leafy greens and herbs because I believe I will probably need to order like a dwarf tomato. I do eventually want to try to grow a tomato under here, but for right now I'm using what I got. So let's go over the varieties, which I'm, I'm on the fence about this one, but anyways, let's just get into it. So the first one here that I have is a uh, mustard green. Um, I'm on the fence about it because these grow really, really big and yeah, I don't know how it'll work out. Next is Lacinato kale or dino kale. We have a couple type of lettuces. I have the oak leaf and the Lola Rosa here. All right, next we have some arugula. Got some Bloomsdale spinach. Zoom, there we go. Um, and then I have a few different types of herbs. I have some flat leaf parsley, some culinary mix basil, and cilantro. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so based off of the manual, it said to drop two to three seeds in each one of these cells. Um, so this is what the cell looks like. Hopefully you can see it has like a little divot in it, just deep enough to drop the seeds into. And then it just gets placed back like that. So how I plan to do this is all the larger things I will put towards the back. Um, so like the kale and the mustard greens will go in the back. I'm going to put the herbs on the side and then the lettuce in the middle and spinach towards the front. Just kind of have the largest things growing downward. That's what makes the most sense to me. And it does say to start off the distance at about um, four inches high. So I'm assuming we're pretty, we're going to be pretty low. So let's go on ahead and get these seeds up in here. And yeah, I'm excited. Everybody is in. So now we just need to dome these babies for germination. All right, so I had to go back and check the manual, but the light panel needs to be set at its lowest setting for things to germinate and this is also going to keep these domes safe and sound because y'all already know i got a two-year-old and she will wreak havoc on all this stuff so hopefully it's safe all right so i went on ahead and downloaded the app 
and I was having a little trouble getting my Wi-Fi connected, but now I am connected. The information that it has on here is obviously whether or not you're connected. It has your water level, the temperature, and then you have how many days you have been growing. So right now I'm at zero days and everything that I read in the menu, it was recommended for each one of these types of vegetables to be under the light for 16 hours a day. Hold on, let me, let me find a little chart that they got up in this thing. Where you go? Hey, hush. Embarrassing. Yeah, so the minimum for most things was 14 to 16 and then yeah so i'm just going to keep it at oh hold up so i'm just going to keep it at 16 hours of lighting per day and then let's go on ahead and schedule for the time so let's say 6 a.m is when i want to turn on and then turn off Why is this military hours, y'all? I don't know. I can't. I can't do the math. The math ain't mathing. So that will be a 17 hours. So let's go ahead and put it for 22. All right. And as far as the brightness, it doesn't say the the brightness that it recommends in the pamphlet here but I'm gonna just keep it where it is for right now. So it's at a level five. Huh, I'm just interested to see. Y'all see that? I'm playing around with the, with the brightness, baby. This is high tech AF. See that? That is so cool. So you can, you know, obviously it, it works instantly. So the schedule is set up. The LE mode, LED mode is set for vegetables and spices. And then let's see, I need to turn on the auto mode because I do have water. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, I have water set up under there, under the desk. So how long have the greens been planted? Zero days, so boom, bam. All right, and I think that's all that we need to set up on here. <clears throat> so I think that's it. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, wouldn't you say so? I would like to thank Let Pop for sending this device out to me once again. Thank you guys so much. I am so excited to see the progress using this baby. I will make sure to leave all of the information down in the description below. Um, the website, pricing, all of that good stuff. And again, definitely make sure that you stay tuned to see the progress and how everything goes using this system. Um, I thank you all so much for stopping by. I wish you health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next one, peace.